Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got peppermint bark in the park and I'm going to stamp on it. I started off with Neltix Formula 2 and Brave Steepa Polish peppermint bark in the park and I topped it with Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. How pretty! I'll be using this Beauty Big Bang XL034 plate today along with Warm Pretty's Brown Stamping Polish and the Gold from Nicole Diary in S03. I'll also be using my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. I'm going to do some double stamping. I'm going to start off using the gold. And that'll be the first layer. Got to get, get stuff off of the stamper. It's just, you know, girls struggling already. But these are like little acorns and pine cones. And there is one little snow, snowflake that didn't really fit, but... I left it in there. I figured whatever. You know. It, it could work. And there we go. Picking up, up that. And we're going to try to line this up. I am using that little piece of tape to get off the excess I don't want. I'm going to try to line this up over the top of the other one. And I do pretty good on this one. This one's pretty good. I, I did alright on that one. Yes. But this next one I didn't just do perfect but I'm leaving it in I'm showing it and I'm gonna let you know I wore it just like that because nobody else knew but me oh getting crazy throwing stuff around there we go there's a better image of me getting the excess off and there we go turning it to where I can see what I want so there we go now the first stamp's fine it's the it's the landing the second layer over top of the first one that I didn't do so well on but I want to show you guys that it's okay nobody's gonna notice it but you it's still beautiful it's very beautiful I mean it still looks very good but you know my acorns I got gold ones and brown ones and it's okay I'll be using BMS 218 and Bundle Monsters number eight a dark green this is super old stamp and polish right here and then I'll be using the Nicole Diary Carpet of Grass. And I'm going to be double stamping this little tree image down at the bottom. It's got like some more open trees and full trees. So, you know, I just wanted to. Now I want you to see this, this Nicole, well, okay, you didn't get to see it so good on this one. But no, that's because it's the wrong polish, Tina. Get over it. Okay, this is the old Bundle Monster Green. And it does great. Look at that. Wonderful. Now, onto this one, the bright green one from Nicole Diary. It didn't clean up off the stamper as easily as the other Nicole Diary polishes I own, but it does come up with tape. You just, I just want y'all to be aware of that. See how it's still leaving a little bit of an image? You got to kind of work it a little bit more, and I'm okay with that. And if you're using one of the old style stampers, you can just wipe it with acetone, like take a little Q-tip with some acetone, but you don't do that with clear ones. No, sir. Mm-mm. It'll ruin it. So you just be patient and use your tape and dab, dab, dab. Or your card or whatever you use to remove your excess images. But I love the double stamping. Love it. And I do really love that Nicole Diary bright green stamping polish. It's it's awesome. It's just you got to be, you know, be, be aware that you're going to have to spend a little bit more time. You know, we get used to using the things we use, and when, when that changes, we, you know, kind of struggle a little bit. So, just wanted to give y'all a heads up. And I don't know if it's all of them or just this green one that's doing it. Um, it might be all of them. I don't know. And I don't really care, because, you know, you can get it up. You saw it. It does come up. It's just not like a one, one swipe like most of the stamping polishes we use. So there we go on that pinky. We're going to do some more little trees. But I really, really enjoyed this. I thought this was fun. Kind of mixing it up a little bit. And these polishes are coming up really nice with the tape trick. Just going around. The greens even came up really well with it. I'm out of frame, but here in just a second. There we go. There's a little bit right there. See? And then I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and just do a little bit more cleaning up. I loved, loved this. I just had so much fun with it. I really do think I'm in, 
getting into and really enjoying that double stamping, giving things more dimension. Uh, just, I think it's just great fun. And I hope that if you're a stamper that you'll give it a try if you haven't already. Might be late to the show on this one. Everybody's done it but me. <laughs> I topped that with the Bundle Monster Smudge Free, I mean the Born Pretty Smudge Free top coat. And now I'm going to seal it in with my Posh Fast Dry top coat. This will give it that plump, glossy effect. And it is to done. This is a finished manicure. Roll well, almost. We got a couple more swipes here. Swip, swipe, sweep. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I really did like the idea of this one. And, you know, it didn't totally turn out like I saw it in my head, but it really turned out great, and I was really pleased with it. So, that is it. I got a swatch photo coming up here very soon. And here it is. But I hope you enjoyed this one. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.